So I've moved over to American Fork. My preferred spot was not available, which is just over around the corner. There were a lot of cars parked there. So I'm in a spot that I've been in before and this will totally work. It's just not as preferred. I don't like being quite this close to apartment buildings, but I, during the summer, before I left last summer, I parked here for three or four days at a stretch. So I actually don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal, honestly. So I moved over here today after, you know, being in the, the Orem spot that I was at, with the big field. <laughs> there was a guy camping in that spot. And there was a guy camping in that field. I woke up in the morning and there's a guy in a tent just camping in that field. <laughs> so this is interesting. I'm getting up, getting going this morning. I'm going to be moving locations. And I've noticed this over the past couple of days. So there's this open field. And there's a tent. Somebody has been tent camping right out in the middle. You can see train going by over there. Tons of cars. That's the front runner train. Goes up and down along the Wasatch front. Somebody's been tent camping out there. I've seen a guy walking his dog. Oh, in fact, I see a dog over there. And I see the tent rustling around. Somebody has been <laughs> tent camping right there. So, oh, they're coming out. I don't want to be here when they're coming out. Oh, yep. pulled up just makes all kinds of awful noises <laughs> and uh, they they actually pulled up right here into this inlet into this field I see people walking their dogs there was even a guy camping in a tent out here so I have no idea what they're doing but I was planning on leaving this morning and then this thing pulls up so I actually have to back up the RV to mount the scooter so I backed up it was easier than I thought and so you can see the tire tracks from that thing pulling in crazy um so i've got to put that back on so it was actually pretty easy to get the scooter on here i was worried they were going to immediately start some sort of construction but i guess not they're just pulling in to do something i have no idea what that thing is so i i always mount the scooter exactly the same way in terms of these uh mounting ratchets and mounting straps it always I always do exactly the same thing because it works so that goes around twice it comes up around the back of this which is really mounted solidly into the scooter and then I come under the tire I come under the rack over the tire and then back under the rack and up so it really holds it in there. And uh, I usually pull because you can actually get just a little bit of extra slack like that. And then this just goes back there around all of that. And then I come around twice. Well, once actually, I just, I go all the way around here so it holds this board in. I've got a strap there so this board doesn't fly out. I put this board in here because it just makes it so much easier to roll the scooter across. And then this, once it comes up and around, comes through here and then back, and that just really holds the scooter in. And the way these things work is you put the strap through this side, just like this. So for instance, it would go through like this. It's a little hard to do with one hand. that and then that is when you do this and then you start ratcheting it and it gets it in
there you go, like that. I'm leaving this spot. I had planned to anyway. The fact that that weird tractor pulled up, I don't know why it kind of freaked me out just a little bit. I mean, it just was one of those kind of tractors that just makes all kinds of clanky, scratching, metal grinding on metal noise. going to swing around in this parking lot. I normally go through the parking lot, but it has two or three just of these huge, you know, the, the bumps that they slow traffic down with. And I just, in this RV, I hate going through those. So I'm just going to pull around. And, uh, Man, I'm telling you, there are a couple people that have motorcycles in here that are so loud, go blaring by in the morning. And yeah, so I'm gonna pull back out this way onto the street so I don't have to go through the parking lot, which I just don't like doing that with those speed bumps. Ugh. So look at that thing. That thing pulled up. I have no idea what it's for wonder if they're going to start doing some sort of construction in that field. But I'm going to head to my parking place in American Fork, but I'm actually going to swing up into Orem. Oh, and I'm going to go dump my tanks too. So I'm going to go by the uh, holiday gas station on the way that has a dump station for $5 and I'm going to top off my water and dump my tanks just to have that done. Okay, so the holiday is just around the corner. I like this when it's big, it's easy to pull into. Okay, here we are. I was lower on water than I realized. I just was not paying attention. I'm always careful with my water usage, but it was definitely lower than I realized. Okay, filling up, getting close to the top. So that's done. I, I was more low on water than I realized, so I'm, I'm glad I just took care of that. So now I'm going to go to a Starbucks near my gym and just sort of work there for a little while. And oh, things rattle around. And then I'm going to go to my gym and then I'm going to go to American Fork. My American Fork location. And I hope that it's not going to be too busy like the stretch of street that I park on. There are actually a couple of places that I could park even temporarily until it clears out. but. I've seen that stretch of road get a little bit busy. Okay. So my other spot that I've parked here in Warham is just right over there. Just right down that street. I don't like it long term. I haven't been able to find a similar parking space that I had, say, in Las Vegas or Phoenix. Those two places were awesome. So directly ahead, right kind of there, that mountain, there's a ridge right along there that you can drive up along. And it gives you an incredible view of the city. 
and of the entire valley. It's called Squaw Peak, and I'm thinking about going up there and just taking my scooter up there. I've been up there before. People paraglide up off of there. So every time I've gone up there, I've randomly seen people paragliding. There's like a little parking lot and hiking. On my way to go up to Squaw Peak up there, It is really pretty. This will give me a really good chance to test out the repairs on my scooter that I did, my sort of MacGyver-esque repairs. You know, it dawns on me, I don't know the name of the mountain ahead. But Squaw Peak is the lower lobe that you can drive up to. Beautiful overlook. Okay, here we go. That mountain ahead Mount Timpanogos. I think that's the tallest mountain in Utah. Everything is so green. Just look at that canyon. Whoa, oh, this is tight. Oh, wow. I love it. Storms are forming in the distance. There's an archery range down below. Uinta National Forest. People just hanging out. There he goes. Wow. That's amazing. Look at that. <laughs> And off he goes. Oh, he came back around. Look at that. So it looks like somebody's going to be doing some paragliding. They just showed up and they're setting up their plane, whatever you call it, paragliding equipment. It's a bonus when somebody shows up with a paraglider. Tons of motorcyclists up here. <laughs> this is awesome. This 
is really fun. There are a lot of people up here. Where are you guys from? Netherlands. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. You're far away from home. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> She's got like two with GoPros a drone. with a drone. Oh, yeah. The drone that follows you around. She has. Check it out on, on YouTube. It's called Itchy Boots. Itchy Boots. Itchy Boots. Itchy That's her channel name. Nice. It's, All right. She's just oh, well. absolutely amazing. Nice. One of those really rare individuals. Yeah. She finds, like, it, her, when she was traveling through Central America and Mexico, she would find the most amazing places. Nice. Yeah. She crazy. Right she, yeah, she yeah. does. She's, like, fearless. It's amazing. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Hey, good luck, man. Have fun. Have trails, all of that. This is fun. Everyone has come up here to watch this guy. I mean, they came up here, but they didn't realize they'd be watching him, but now everyone is watching him. Now I'm heading to American Fork. Now I'm going there. So, uh, yeah, it's been a pretty wet spring so far. And that's the fun thing, <coughs> excuse me, about Utah is it will be totally sunny when you wake up in the morning and then thunderstorms progressively form by afternoon and it just starts raining. And so Utah is just really green right now. I could have gone back onto that road. That would have been faster, but there's no way to really get out there easily. So, I'm on my way to American Fork. Okay, turn here. And then have to look and see if there are any spots, but I got to go all the way around the block, like all the way around. Okay, so my parking is to the right, but I have to go all the way around to get into it, so let me look. It's, oh, gosh, it's... Lots of cars. So my alternate is right here. What is this guy doing? So what I'm going to do is I've parked right here. And then I will move the RV tonight when I see the cars have moved from the spot. And I'll move up just a little bit. 